by layperson, what do you mean? You were just sort of reading Salah. So he triggered me to get get back to my religion and follow Quran and Sunnah. Yeah, I was just thinking that uh, when Sam Stolen was telling about that Christian missionary. Allah will give you hidayah if you're sincerely seeking. Because, you know, there are hadiths where the Prophet ﷺ said. Of learning about Islam. You said that Bible contains stories, right, about the prophets and the history. So have you found it about, about it? founder on it. Like in Deuteronomy 1818, it's talking about the prophecy, about the coming prophet. So have you found it upon it? Deuteronomy 1818 says yeah. that, the God says that, yeah. Uh, who yeah. is that prophet, the coming coming prophet well, in Deuteronomy? Uh, um, it's not really clear, but it, it could have been uh, uh, Jesus. It could have been some other prophets that came after Moses. Uh, it's not really clear. Okay, I'll tell you, brother. Uh, the, the verse says that uh, I will raise a prophet among your brethren, same like you, Moses. He will not speak on his own. I will put my words in his mouth and he shall deliver it. So same like Moses. So we need to ponder and we need to think about it. Which prophet came uh, after Moses, peace be upon him, same like Moses. And he's talking to his brethren, cousins. There were, there were lots of prophets. Right? After and Moses. I'll give you... Do you know that? Okay, I'll give you... I'll. Yeah, I'll give you an example, a beautiful example from Isaiah chapter 42, verse 11. It's talking about the Kedars. Have you read about the Kedars? Uh, the verse says that, let the wilderness and its uh, towns raise their voice. Let the settlements where Kedars lived rejoice. Let the people of the Sela mountain for joy, uh, sing for joy. Let them uh, shout from the tallest of the mountain. So this Kedar, do you know who, who were the Kedars? No. Uh, they, they, they were from the lineage of uh, Ibrahim, peace be upon him. Abraham, peace be upon him. From Abraham, peace be upon him. Ishmael, peace be upon him. Right? And from that, Hashim. And after that, Abdullah. Then came the Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the Kedar is the, uh, 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 is the uh, from, from the lineage of Abraham, peace be upon him. And Ishmael, peace be upon him. So this is a prophecy and this uh, uh, verse is specifically pointing about the coming of prophet, which will be coming to the place of Kedars. Kedars dwell uh, nearby Arabia. And the mountain which is talking about in this verse is Sela Mountain. Even today, if you Google Sela Mountain, you will find that mountain uh, near Medina. When Muhammad, peace be upon him, came, he entered Medina. The people of the Kedar, the Kedar people, they were singing from the top of the mountain, Sela Mountain. So which prophet came to Medina or to the Sela mountain or where the Kedars dwell? Have you ever pondered upon it? Not that, not, in, not in that way. I mean, I thought it could have been Jesus or some other prophet, but if it's if it's the, mm. uh, if it's uh, Muhammad, then that's it, that's okay as well. But you know, it doesn't really. I didn't, I didn't he was from to... the lineage. 